Hello friends and welcome to Big T's 3 Minute Market Minder. Today I want to tell you about another piece of transformational technology that I came across while at CES. And this is a term that you're going to hear a lot about in 2017. By the way, CES is the Consumer Electronics Show. It's kind of like taking a spaceship to the future. The technology at CES is the latest and greatest technology that will show up in American homes over the next several years. So there is a term that was being bandied around CES and that you're going to hear a lot about it in 2017, and that is this term, zero UI. So what does zero UI mean? Zero UI means the end of the user interface, the graphical user interface. So think about the ways that we've interacted with technology over the last 50 years. In the beginning, we had punch cards that we would put into machines. Uh, then we had uh, command lines where, remember the old DOS? We would have to type in uh, DOS commands. Then we had windows where we would have a graphical user interface where we could uh, interact uh, with our computers. And then we had uh, the touch screen on the iPhone that gave us a whole brand new way of interacting with computers. Now what Zero UI is about is about completely doing away with a traditional form of interacting with computers such as the mouse or the touch screen or the graphical user interface and relying on artificial intelligence voice commands, um, hand movements that are interpreted uh, by our technological devices that can automatically tell what we are trying to do. So this is the, you're going to see this massive push take place across corporate America, and it'll happen in consumer electronics, and it'll also happen on the B2B side, where there is going to be a move away from your traditional user interface and more of a reliance on voice-based command systems. Now, a company that is betting an enormous amount of money on this uh, is Amazon. So Amazon is coming out with these uh, little disks here, and they're called Echoes. And the Amazon Echo device, they have this version here, and then they have a bigger version there. The, what they're trying to do with Echo is they're trying to make Echo be the center of your home. And while I was at CES, one of the biggest themes there was uh, companies that were creating devices such as um, uh, televisions, uh, uh, computers, uh, light bulbs, thermostats that all had connectivity built into them that would work with Amazon's Echo device, and the, the, the name of the digital assistant that uh, the AI that Amazon uses is called Alexa, and the whole show, all I was hearing was Alexa, 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 Alexa. So as we move forward here, um, what I think we're going to start seeing is this rise of this uh, zero UI and it will come in the form of these digital personal assistants. And so far, the leader in the home is Amazon with its Echo device and its Alexa digital assistant. So as you look at different consumer electronic companies, as you look at new products that are coming to market, pay special attention to those products that are touting compatibility with the Alexa AI system. Because just like when... Uh, Apple came out with their uh, string of connected devices. I think that Amazon is really onto something here where they're going to be creating their own ecosystem of devices that can interoperate with the Alexa system. And so as we look out through the future and we say, okay, what's that next big trend in consumer electronics? I think that next big trend is going to be in these voice-operated connected devices with something like Alexa sitting at the heart of your entire uh, home control system. So the key takeaway here is Zero UI is coming, 
and uh, so far, Amazon's Alexa slash Echo product looks to be the leader in the space, but I imagine it won't be long before we see Apple and Google uh, wading into this um, uh, uh, digital assistant home uh, space uh, with some competing devices. It is going to be fun watching these behemoths uh, fight it out in the marketplace. All right, friends, that is enough out of me. I will catch up with you in the next video. And I want you to always remember, let the game come to you.